Hello and welcome to Bitfumes. I am your host Sarthak and in this episode we are going to talk about what's new in Laravel 5.8. So Laravel 5.8 was yesterday released and has many 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 changes. Among that changes I have pointed out 21 important updates you should care about. And then I categorized them in three sections. One is major upgrade or breaking changes. Second is improvements. Third is new additions. So breaking changes means these changes will affect your existing project if you are upgrading to level 5.8. And by the way, if you want to read this blog I have written, you should check out the link in the description to get to this blog. Then after that, the improvements. Improvements, that means some of the things are already there, but they their functionalities are enhanced. Third is new additions. These things are not implemented before, but now these are available so that you have new functionality, which are going to increase the usability of Laravel. So first thing, the caching TTL. Caching TTL is a caching time to live. Before Laravel 5.8, if you are caching something like you are caching a value for bar of key foo and if you give five here, this is five minute. But now cache is for seconds. That means that five is no longer pointed to minutes, it's a second. So if you want to have five minute, then you have to write 300 seconds, that is five minutes. And that happens because of this PR and this PR says that it is used because it is conformed with PSR 16, which says that minimum TTL functionality as described below with whole second granularity that allow the caching in second so that developer can have more specific caching time. So this thing, if you are upgrading, you need to change and otherwise your caching will just stay for some of the seconds. Then comes the helper functions. There are lots and lots of helper function was there in level 5.7 and below, but now in level 5.8, these are deprecated and obviously in level 5.9, these will be removed. But don't worry about that. You can use for now by using these class and then method name. So what happened after 5.9 if you want to use these things? Check out this PR. This PR says, yeah, these things are deprecated, but you, for now they, are, they can be used with AR or STR helpers. And these functions are like STR random, STR slug, and these related, related things because these are just uh, overloading the Laravel uh, framework. And Taylor itself, the creator of Laravel, Taylor itself commented here that this should pack it packed up in a uh, Laravel helper composer package so that after Laravel 5.9, if you want to use it, then you can have you can have this package and you can use it. These are deprecated because suppose uh, someone has their own helper function and that function may be that function may be conflict with the core functions of Laravel. So that conflict generally happens to remove to remove these conflicts actually these functions are already removed and will be available via composer package if you want to use it third important thing is env 3.0 everyone know that level env file is so much important but env 3.0 released having more features and upgrades and these upgrades are very very important when you are going to use env like multi-line support is also used there and no trimming also there and if you are not convinced about these changes i'm going to create a dedicated video over caching ttl deprecated helpers maybe dot env also so if you're not getting these things in details don't worry about that
So next is notification package. Yeah, Slack notification and Nexmo notification are already integrated in the Laravel before Laravel 5.8, but these things are now totally removed and you can have them via using these composer packages. Then comes testing PHP unit 8. Yeah, level 5.7 uses PHP 7, PHP unit 7. But if you have upgraded to PHP 7.2 or later, then you need to use PHP unit 8. And then you have these void return type in the setup and teardown method. So check this out. I have this 5.7. And this is test case and if I open this file and I scroll down uh, yeah you can see the function setup doesn't have any return void but on 5.8 if I open this scroll down yeah setup has void so if you are overwriting this setup method you need to give this void returning then comes the carbon version 2 <laughs> yes carbon also improved and the carbon version 2 has carbon immutable class which is very very useful and we will see in the separate video how this is going to work and what is the benefit of using carbon version 2 but if you already want to use carbon version 1 only then you can have you can obviously use and you need to define something on your app service provider maybe to use carbon version 2 for now and then you can be switch between these carbon uh, versions next is very very important and which is new default password length so now because uh, updates are there and this is very very important i i've always thinking why level has six digit of password length but now with 5.8 yeah this password default password length will be in eight characters and then after is mocking and testing helpers so if you're familiar with laravel testing you know that if you have uh, other services like you have a stripe service and obviously while testing we are not going to actually talk to stripe so what we will do we will mock that class meaning while testing whenever laravel try to access this class we will give another function which is going to implement instead of this class so to define that thing we generally use this kind of syntax but now this thing is removed totally and you can see it's so much cleaner so that's improvement then comes the artisan server improvement this is very very cool you know what happens sometime you have these two projects so one is 5.7 and another is 5.8 so suppose i start server so php artisan serve and yes you can see it says 8000 is already in use you can't use it that's the point so what if i do same thing on level 5.8 so in level 5.8 it will just search for available port and if 8000 is not available it will work on 8001 and yeah you can see it is now available on 8001 so if i open localhost 8001 like this Yes, we will have the level 5.8. That's super cool. So this is very, very useful if you are always trying to use PHP at serve. Generally, I also use, I also have Valley, but I used to have PHP at serve when I create any tutorials because not everyone has Valley. So it's better to use PHP at serve. Okay, next. This is very, very important. Yeah, what happened that whenever you are creating some policies related to any uh, model, then firstly, what you need to do, you need to register them in your service provider. But now, as long as the policies are inside their conventional directories, like policies has to be inside app then policies you don't have to register them <laughs> yeah that's super cool that that means you generate the policy you use it finally <laughs> that's very very nice then comes a new category in eloquent relationship 
has won true generally we know has won relationship is there and now we have has won through so we have suppose we have a product model and that user has some product and product has some detail so if you want to use user and product detail directly you need to go via product so you will say user product and then product detail no if you can use has one through you can directly call user product detail and that will give you the details of product via this eloquent relationship i will create another video just for this uh, update or this new uh, relationship so yeah we will see on that more so next is token guard token hashing suppose you are creating a single page application you need some token to authentication but previously we generally use laravel passport to generate token or we simply use jwt because laravel passport is a full oauth implementation if you just want to use for it for authentication token you generally use jwt but here is new cool thing api authentication is already integrated in laravel that means token generation and token refresh kind of things is implemented with laravel 5.8 that is very useful and again as i told you i will create a new video for just for this thing next move on to the next part default time zone if you are defining a scheduler you can define a time zone for every schedule and that's very cool so next is multiple broadcast authentication guard so whenever you are broadcasting something then the user we will get on this uh, closer will generally have from the authenticated guard or the default guard not authenticated the default guard but explicitly you can define which guard you want to use for particular broadcasting that's again an improvement or new thing not an improvement improvement is artisan call improvement if you programmatically want to call the artisan command like on your php code then what you need to do you need to say artisan colon colon call and the uh, command name and then some parameter will be inside this array but now with 5.8 you can directly call just like you call on your terminal <laughs> php artisan and something something with some options you can directly call you don't have to give this array kind of syntax that's again very cool so before level 5.8 if you have the email address which looks something like this like uh, you have a diacritic at uh, some name or letter just like we have generally on arabic or latin words then this will this was not considered as a valid email but now with this with the use of this package laravel can recognize this as a valid email email address that's a super cool improvement then comes higher order where or where eloquent method suppose you created two scopes and then you call it so first you call email verified then you called another scope but to call that you need to use a closure here but now with level 5.8 you don't have to use any closure just say or where and your another scope variable yeah like this so these kind of things will be implemented in level 5.8 next is correct pluralization and <laughs> json in mysql like you will have a json stored in your database and if you retrieve previously it will give quoted uh, string but now it will not uh, quoted string then comes eloquent resource key preserve if you have collection then it will give the resources in pre proper order 
but now you can say preserve key so it will not give a, in a numerical order it will give in, in actual order so lastly the important one which is error page now you can see if you go here on level 5.8 and go to another any route which is not available it's super super elegant super super simple 404 not found yeah this is what exactly has to be so this error page is so elegant and so simple that it can be used anywhere you want so these things are on level 5.8 and 21 important update you should care about read this blog to have more knowledge and wait for the other episodes related to level 5.8 updates and hit like if you like this post and please share with your friends on facebook twitter and anywhere you want and if you have any doubt and you want to ask any question just go to bitfumes.com slash discussion and you can ask questions like these people have asked and you can uh, also answer to other questions and in that way you can enhance your knowledge and help others and also you can go to the courses section to have a look on the courses i'm going to create on this website and you can get notified by just giving your email address so that whenever i publish a new course or whenever i launch this course section you will get notified and super cool things are coming in this website like you will have the courses and you will have some points if you ask question if you reply to others question and if you mark a best reply among the other replies you will get the points and then that points can be used on the courses to buy new courses that's a super cool thing i will i'm very excited about that so if you have any doubt yeah you can ask here if you have not subscribed to this channel go and subscribe to this channel you can like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram at the bottom you can see facebook twitter instagram linkedin also there so you can follow on these platforms so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye